What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I made a movie night charcuterie board using super delicious snacks. I found a lot of the things that I used at Target, like the popcorn and a few of the different other seasonal items. It was so much fun to make and I got a new charcuterie board to make it on that I'm going to show you guys at the end of the video. I'll let you guys know where I got it and how much it was. I'm so excited because I'm going to be showing you guys a sneak peek of the fall charcuterie board that I created. It turned out so, so pretty and I'm so excited to share it with you guys. So let's get straight into the video. This board has got you covered whether you have a sweet tooth or a savory one. If you want to see how I created this ultimate movie night charcuterie board then let's get straight into the video. I found this garlic bread cheese at Trader Joe's and I thought it would be perfect for this board. It reminds me more of a snack than a fancy cheese. It's a soft cheese and I thought it would go great with all of the other snacks on the board. The square shape of this cheese makes it perfect for slicing. I'm trying to keep all the slices about the same thickness so that way when I layer them on top of each other, they will layer more easily. I'm holding all of the slices that I made into the original square shape so that way I can slice them into smaller slices so that way I can layer them on top of each other. I used the thickness of my knife to measure where I was going to cut. It helped me keep all of the slices the same size. I brought a stack of the slices over to the board and I just began to lay them on top of each other. You might have to mess around with it, take some out if they're too thick and it's not laying properly. Next I went in with a row of Ritz crackers right behind the cheese. These crackers are super soft and buttery and they were perfect for this charcuterie board. They pair really nicely with the garlic bread cheese. This Utz party mix has been one of my favorite snacks since I was a kid, so I definitely had to incorporate it into this board. It has Cheetos, pretzels, chips, and it's super crunchy and I thought it would be a great texture to add to this board. I placed it right in front of the garlic bread cheese and I thought it fit perfectly there. The contrast in color between the cheese and the Utz party mix looked really nice. Next I'm just going in with some pretzels and all I did was just layer them on top of each other. Since this is a movie night charcuterie board, I could not forget the popcorn, so I found this toasty brown butter popcorn at Target. It has potato chip pieces and pretzels in it, and it's so yummy. I placed it right in front of the pretzels. If you like caramel covered popcorn, you will be a big fan of this. Next, I'm going in with an apple and I'm just slicing it up. Adding an apple to this movie night charcuterie board will offer sweetness, tartness, and also a new texture to the charcuterie board. I'm slicing off one side of the apple and then I'm laying it flat side down and just slicing the apple into wedges. Here I'm just trying to match the wedges back up because when you layer them, they will layer more seamlessly. I layered them up and I put them right next to the pretzels and the popcorn and I just added a few more pretzels behind the apples as well. The next snack that I'm adding to this movie night charcuterie board are Oreo thins and I opted for the thin ones instead of the regular Oreos because when you layer them up, they will layer better if they're thinner. The best feature of this board is that it can spin and it was super easy to spin the board around anytime I couldn't reach around the board. I finished layering up the Oreos and I wrapped them right around the toasty brown butter popcorn. Chocolate covered pretzels are the favorite of many so I definitely could not leave them out of this charcuterie board. I just layered them up along the outside of the board close to the Oreos. I'm going in with some more apples right next to the cheese and the crackers and this time instead of layering them, I'm just using my thumbs and I'm carefully fanning them out. It's time to sweeten this board up with some candy. I went in with some M&Ms right in between the Oreos and the chocolate covered pretzels and the pop of color looks super nice on this board. I'm going in with some more of the toasty brown butter popcorn next to the Utz party mix and the apples. Since it's a movie night charcuterie board, I wanted to incorporate some more popcorn. And if you're not a big fan of the caramel flavored popcorn, you could always swap it out for a popcorn that you like better. Next, I'm going in with some Reese's peanut butter cups. These ones are the snack size. I'm taking off the wrapper and then I'm just layering them up on the outside of the charcuterie board. I found these mini club crackers and I thought they were perfect for a movie night charcuterie board slash snack board. I just dumped a big pile onto the board next to the Reese's and the popcorn and I'm kind of layering them on top of each other just so it looks like a pile and it looks a little bit fuller. I'm using the rest of the M&Ms that were in this pack to make a little M&M river right alongside of the little mini club crackers and the popcorn. It adds a nice pop of color to the board and helps to break up all of the other colors. 
I'm adding some more of the Utz Party Mix onto the board to add a little bit more crunch and some more saltiness to the board as well. I kept adding some more of the Utz Party Mix and stacking some more chips on top of one another until it looked full enough. I'm adding some of these white chocolate covered pretzels to the charcuterie board. I'm just layering them on top of one another. Not only are they delicious, but they offer a contrast in color to the board. I'm adding some more white chocolate covered pretzels right near the dark chocolate covered ones and I'm wrapping them around the M&Ms to create a little closure for the M&Ms. This will help to make sure that the M&Ms stay in place and they don't move around. Let me know in the comments down below what kind of chocolate is your favorite. I found these dark chocolate sea salt caramels at Target and I thought they would be perfect to add to this movie night charcuterie board. I'm just taking a few and putting them kind of in the middle of the board and just layering them on top of each other into a little pile. I decided to fill in the gap in the center with some more of the toasted brown butter popcorn. I thought it would look really nice because it looks like there's a popcorn river going down the center of the charcuterie board. I added some more layered apples right next to the Ritz crackers and to the garlic bread cheese. I layered some more chocolate covered pretzels on top of the row that I already started just to finish filling it in. And last but not least, to fill in the small gap between the apples and the chocolate covered pretzels, I went in with these crunchy cookie M&Ms. It brightens it up a bit and makes it even more delicious. Here's the finished result of this ultimate movie night charcuterie snack board. Let me know how you guys think it turned out. It was a lot of fun to make and definitely delicious to eat. Be sure to stay tuned to the end of the video if you guys want to see where I got this charcuterie board and a sneak peek of the next charcuterie board that I'm going to be making. Leave a comment down below letting me know what you guys thought of this charcuterie board and if you guys have any tips, tricks, or suggestions. Also, let me know what kind of charcuterie board ideas or themes you guys want to see next. Now let's get right into the sneak peek of my next charcuterie board. Here's a sneak peek of the fall charcuterie board that I created. It came out super beautiful and I'm really happy with how it turned out. Everything was super delicious and I cannot wait for you guys to see the full video. For now, I'm gonna take you guys along with me to the store to show you where I got my movie night charcuterie board. I just got to the store called At Home and of course I had to grab a cart because who knows what I might find. I specifically came in here for a charcuterie board, but you know I'm gonna hit up the fall section and probably look at a lot of different other things as well. This is me looking around for any pumpkins because I was trying to find the fall section. I saw Halloween, but I was looking specifically for fall. They had super cute pumpkins. They weren't quite what I was looking for, but they did have a lot of other cute fall decor this year. I convinced myself that I didn't need any of those fall decorations and then I finally ended up in the charcuterie board section and guys look how many boards they have to pick from. It took me a long time to make the decision that I did. I wasn't sure if I wanted one with a marble top or a wooden one but then I saw this super pretty board with this pretty design and it spins and I definitely had to get this one. This is the charcuterie board that I used to make the movie night charcuterie board. It spins. This was what I liked most about it. This is why I bought it. I thought it was super functional for a charcuterie board because you can just spin it around like as you're making it. I got it at, at home for $44.99. It's made out of mango wood. You can tell like certain boards are better quality than others at this one is super smooth it doesn't splinter or anything it's pretty good quality and it has this really pretty design on the outside the nice thing about this board is that it doubles as a decoration so when you're not using it as a charcuterie board you can use it to put things like you can use it as a centerpiece right now i have little pumpkins sitting on top of it for fall and it's super cute i want to go back to get some more let me know in the comments down below if there's any specific videos you guys want to see or any specific themes of charcuterie board that you guys would be interested if you guys have any tips tricks or ideas on making charcuterie boards then be sure to let me know in the comments down below thanks so much for watching this charcuterie board video i hope you guys really enjoyed it be sure to comment down below letting me know if you guys have any tips tricks or ideas also let me know if you guys would be interested in any other types of videos like day in the lives makeup videos, or anything else that you guys could think of. Be sure to comment it down below. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. If you guys stayed all the way till the end of the video, comment fall charcuterie board in the comment section down below. And be sure to stay tuned for the next video that I have coming up, which is going to be the beautiful fall charcuterie board that I showed you guys in the sneak peek. I cannot wait for you guys to see it. I'll see you guys in the next one.